Hey everybody, HackCreature here. So, this is a test video. This is a... Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I complain about Pyrone a lot. Uh, I've shared my feelings on the Kashima. I never made an official video about Pyrone. Not that it really matters. I mean, my opinion technically doesn't matter. Especially since the game's no longer in development. Uh, but the reason I'm actually making this video uh, is because I... So I haven't watched Pyrone, uh, sorry, Swing Point's Pyrone video since it came out. I, uh, I watched it the first time, got pissed off, and then I didn't watch it again. So I forgot everything about it. Uh, I know why it's powerful, you know, according to the abilities, you know, weapon handling, uh, and then the equipment to make it do lots of critical damage, and then, you know, have it not break as fast, extra repair kits, and then I put in this so that it, when it does repair, it repairs more. I don't know if I should just double bank on Iron Sheet 2 so it just breaks slower. I don't know. That's probably what you should do. But what I'm doing today is, regrettably, regrettably, I'm going to play Pyrone. It's not something I'm enjoying or something that I'm excited about, but... I was playing Samuel earlier, uh, and I was doing a daily. Uh, the Mastermind kind of let us win. Kind of? Uh, but anyway, in that video, uh, I was playing Sam, and I was doing a high damage build, and I was like, so what's the torch like anyway? Like, I personally have stopped using the torch since they uh, changed how it works. So I just stopped using it. I, I haven't used it in months. So I don't know what the torch is really doing. I don't know what it's actually... Like, what's actually happening with Pyrone? So I was using the torch, and... And it's like, holy crap. Uh, so uh, I wanted to play the build itself. What's really happening when I'm going against these players? Because I hate this build so much. I need to understand it. So in order to, t to stop complaining about something, you have to take steps. Understand what you're complaining about, and find a way to resolve the issue. So if I can understand this thing in and out, then maybe there is a way. Maybe there's something we can do to get past it. Where there's a will, there is always a way. Uh, I mean, shit, just look at Skyrim. There's so many bugs. Uh, there's so many glitches. It's, it's hilarious. Where there's a will, there's a way in that game. Uh, anyway, yeah. So I, you know, from experience, I know that the best way to stop this build is in heavy infection to slow him down. Because the build has nothing to protect him from infection. And he's a melee character, so he's most susceptible to that. So that's the best counter. Then there's also trap builds. And if he doesn't buy a gun, well then he's an idiot. And then there's also gun builds. But what about creatures? Well, infection! But there's gotta be something. It, there's gotta be something besides that. Because I've ran a lot of infection creature builds, and I have lost humiliatingly to Pyrone. Like, like there wasn't much I could do, because the bioenergy gain wasn't fast enough for the creature build I was using. And it didn't matter how much health the creatures had, I still ended up losing, like, badly, just because of the build alone that he's using. And and I can't recover the bioenergy to keep pushing it out. It's impossible to swarm, so the return isn't as good as what I'm giving. That's how powerful the build is against creature builds. So I will have to watch Swing Point's Pyrone video. I'm, I'm dreading watching that again. But I'm going to be playing the build today, and I want to see exactly what's going on. Why is this build so powerful? What can I do? Uh, now that I'm saying it, I think I'm just going to go ahead, go full on Iron Sheet 1 and 2. So I can increase the durability as much as I possibly can. Because maybe that's what they're doing. And then I have two repair kits, so I don't have to buy one. And I start with one or two, so I have you know a whole bunch in Area 1 alone. And then I have Hollow Point Round 3 to increase the critical damage. Because the critical damage is actually really high. Um, in the Samuel build I was using, 
So in the Samuel build, um, I'm not running anything for critical damage. But I was running critical chance. But the critical damage is really high to begin with. This guarantees critical hits on the ground. And th this increases the critical damage, so that's why I'm running that. So yeah, um, I am going to be putting down a whole bunch of sorry and hearts. Maybe just sorry. I don't want to seem like a... Uh, uh, like I might be lying, so just sorry. And then I am wearing uh, the default costume. I don't deserve to look good right now. And uh, yeah, so if any of you happen to see me, this is why I was doing it. This is why I was playing the most disgusting build in the game, just uh, besides the Kashima. That's why I'm doing this. Uh, so yeah, I apologize if I faced any mastermind. Who knows that I hate this build, uh, and I apologize to any survivors who see me playing this build. I am not a hypocrite. I just want to understand what's happening. That's all. And, uh, yeah. Knowing thy enemy is the best way to defeat them. And here we go. Okay, we have a rank 2 Jill. That's fine. We have a Sith player. That's cool. I've never seen a happy Sith Lord. Uh, let's see. So we're going against Spencer once again. So we have creatures. That's good. This is Casino. Okay. Like I said, I am not excited for playing Pyrone. I think it's a disgusting build. But this is for learning. We're doing this to understand. Know thy enemy. So. I'm trying to find out how fast the torch breaks. What's my limit? What exactly would it take to take me down? Besides traps, infection, and guns. To to godhood. Your sacrifice serves me. I'm gonna take this. Carefully and work together. And we'll that. Okay, I'm gonna put this hey, down. This is kind of fun. Okay. I have my torch. I am disgusting. Let's raid this village. Will you even live to, to one more? This. I doubt it. Here, yeah, like this is gonna stop us. <laughs> Fuck, I couldn't kick him! Shit! Wow. The power of this build. It's crazy. It feels powerful, too. That's crazy. Yeah, just bashing everything with a torch, like the sheer amount of enemies in one sweep. It's a sideways sweep, and it's just very consistent. It's like boom, 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 boom. That's a fake key, right? Yep, that's a fake key. I'm still on four torches. I mean, repair kits. I got lucky there. That's disgusting. Look at that. And it's damage over time as well. I still have four repair kits. I don't know if that's actually the mastermind or not, but I'm putting down sorry anyway. Oh, Becca found the last key. Good for her. I still have four repair kits. Don't worry, Jill, I got you. Maybe. I have to get Jill up first, even though she doesn't have the key. Because she was the closest to dying. What the fuck was that? 
What the fuck was that? January. You could have gotten her up, right? Maybe she wasn't doing it the whole time. Maybe she wasn't doing it the whole time. I don't know. Oh no. Dude. Please try to kill us. Please. I need this for my research. I never thought I'd say that as a survivor. I still have four repair kits. I still have four repair kits. I am coming to get you. I'm just under halfway for one torch. This is how powerful this build is. I'm just under halfway for one repair kit. My god. It takes so much to destroy one repair kit. It's... I can't do that. Fuck that. He has an invulnerability anchor. There's no fucking way. Where's my team? I need my team. I'm not stupid. I guess we're gonna wait it out. I can feel the this is so fucked up. Come on, let's go. It's back up there. Okay, finally, finally. I'm just about to use one repair kit. Just, oh my gosh, people. Why can't we stick together? January, where are you? Fuck yeah, affection. <laughs> I just ran right into it. Fuck yeah, man. It was a clone. Okay. That's what happened. It was a clone. I thought it was refract. Come on, guys. Becca, you're the only one not firing, so you should be helping me. Who's the low level? I don't remember. the key. Jill, you have the key. It's literally right there. Where are you going? Jill, what the fuck? Let's go. Yeah, unbelievable, man. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Jill, let's go. Jill, let's go. You had the key. System looks like. Got that powered up feel. Okay, I'm finally about to actually go through two repair kits. But look how far we. I just mindlessly do this. No skill. I don't even have to try. Why wasn't the ivy being? So far, infection seems to be really good. High bioenergy. 
is going to counter it high armor. Because then you can compensate for your creatures not doing jack shit. Watch out, Jill. Watch out. I'm out of healing right now. Oh, fuck. Infection and a high bioenergy seem to be great counters to Pyrone. Because the infection is stopping me from hitting. And the high bioenergy can basically force me to use more repair kits. But this is area two. Jill, come on. Jill, come on. Why are you still using a muck? I did that on purpose. I had to. Shit, no. Yeah, high infection seems to be the best way to go because now I can't even get rid of the infection and I can't heal myself. And Jill is down. I think she's the low level. Are you really trying and Becca best? is abandoning her team for some fucking reason. Maybe you. she needs the blue herb. The really okay, we need to get to the end zone now. There's no turning back. There won't be enough time. Come on, Becca. <laughs> You're the only one who can get this. Come on, Becca. Go, go, go. Okay. So we're finally in Area 3, and I'm I you have just now going to buy repair kits. All that remains is to extinguish your life and see whether a resurrection follows. Hmm. My credits are bad because I've had to spend most of my resources on herbs and infection. Okay. So I can't actually, like, help out. I really need, like, another weapon or something. But I can't afford it. I mean, I guess I can. Come on, man. Oh, I don't need that shit. <laughs> I think... Yeah, I have enough for this. This is the only match I need. I don't need any more than this. This is good enough. Okay. Run, run. Yeah, I don't need to play anymore. Could, but it wasn't fast enough now, oh, wonderful. Was I got a cosmetic. Uh, Ars Octor, I apologize for my gameplay. Okay, so. Infection. Traps, guns, high bioenergy. Having creatures that don't give back a lot of time is very important. Because they're all gonna die. Oh wow, it took me that long to get that. Hell yeah. So I finally, finally, finally have at least one Christmas themed cosmetic. <laughs> It took this long. <laughs> I still don't have the Santa Claus cosmetic for the zombie. I was really hoping to do that. Yeah, shiny. 
There you go. Okay. Let's see. So, what I learned. It took forever for me to use uh, my repair kit. So by the time that I actually did need to buy them, I was in Area 3 already. So, conserving the torch is uh, easy. Real easy. Despite the, the amount of creatures that they put out, despite the infection, it still took me until Area 3 uh, until I needed to buy more repair kits. So all my credits were spent on healing and infection. Infection is Pyrone's biggest weakness. Um, I guess if you can force him to spend most of his resources on blue herbs, then he won't have enough for a normal weapon for Area 3. And then he'll be stuck with the torch in Area 3. Because the torch doesn't do a whole lot of damage to the Biocore. It really does damage to creatures, but to the Biocore it doesn't do that much. And the Biocore has a lot of health, so yeah. But then again, the other teammates can compensate for the Pyrone, who only has the torch on the Biocore. Biocores don't take that much to destroy. So... Infection seems to be the biggest counter. Because I don't have any equipment... for it. If I get rid of this, I'll use my repair kits faster. But... I can change it... Uh, to resist infection. But... It won't matter that much, because I've used this on other people. Uh, I know there's like 100% in, uh, infection resistance. Uh, I think El Gran Diego did that. But, you know, that's 100%. You need to dedicate your entire build for that. So I can't do that. So I would only be able to do this. This would help, but it would hurt the build. So infection is the biggest counter, besides guns and traps. But if you're running a creature build, I would say... Yeah, yeah, infection and... It, so, infection, creatures that don't give back much time, so normal zombies, sadly. Just normal zombies. Dogs. And then a high bioenergy, because your creatures will rarely give back bioenergy. So, so the energy leech spray would be useless. I'm gonna go over to Mastermind to show this. So... Yeah, so this would be useless against Pyrone because your creatures are so shit against the build that they won't be able to atta attack him unless he's infected. So you can't rely on this against a Pyrone. You'd have to rely on this instead. This and... I can't say regen. Like, like the amount of health it would give back to how much damage you're doing. Uh, I don't even know if it would add like half a second to take longer to kill them, so I don't know if it'd be worth it. Uh, so I think this would be the this would be the only spray to use against them. Berserk won't help. It it'll only help if he's infected. So if he's infected and then your creatures are berserked, then they'll attack him sooner. And that's it. But you're wasting your bioenergy using this. So you'd have to create a build with very cheap zombies. And then a high bioenergy, a high infection, and, and then maybe a few traps. This sounds like Alex. This sounds just like Alex. Alex sounds like the... Annette and Alex sound like the two people who might have a natural defense or offense against Pyrone. Cheat creatures, high infection. High infection and traps. Weakest mastermind in the game, besides Nikolai. He has the easiest counter. Uh, but yeah. Uh, I don't know. Well, he might be the weakest, I don't know. 
So yeah, as for Daniel, there's really not much he can do other than uh, use Invincible uh, Endurance wouldn't really help. Well, it it would help, but but you wouldn't get knocked back. So you'd have to have a lot of health or a lot of damage resistance and heal. So you would need regen, good damage resistance to make the uh, so, so the torch doesn't do a lot of damage, but it has a good sweeping motion and it does damage over time. So good damage resistance would mean that the torch itself would do less damage over time. And then you'd have the regen and endurance. So you won't get stunned. Uh, I already faced the Spencer. As for Nikolai, well, it's Nikolai, so guns. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess that would kind of be it. So infection, cheap creatures, a lot of bioenergy. So Spencer would be the one for a lot of bioenergy. Um... This would be good as well. The invulnerability anchor was a natural counter. And, uh, yeah. I, yeah, so I guess the best way to counter him would be to just really be at your best game. You, you, you would have to pull out all the stops. You, you would have to make a build that's, well, basically just powerful in, in all aspects. Cheap creatures that are buffed with high energy. And... Yeah. Okay. Anyway, for review, infection, traps, bioenergy, guns. Uh, if you have a build that at, has at least, I would say, two of those things in one, then you'd be set. And you'd have to change your entire deck just for Pyron in particular. But that wouldn't really stop him, though. Because you'd just be focusing on destroying the torch, and, and you'd have to force him to use his resources. Because if he doesn't use his resources, then you're not going to stop him. You have to force him to use his resources on the blue herbs. To uh, yep, yep, yeah, You have to do a lot of damage to force him to buy green herbs. So he can't get more repair kits or another weapon. And... Yeah. It's basically an ultra resource trainer. Uh, yeah. Man, this is. F what a horrible build. You have to work so hard. So hard to stop this. You shouldn't have to work this hard to counter one particular character. And this is with the torch. You can do this with the Kashima. God damn, man. Anyway, yeah. So there you have it. Uh, those are my uh, raw thoughts uh, on the character build. Uh, what you can do against it and what it can do for you if you choose to play it. Please don't play it. It's just not right. It... Yeah, I lost. I get that I lost. But he was using Infection, right? The whole thing was about finding out how to beat it. God, it's horrible. Good job, Neobards. Good job. <laughs> Good job. Tyro and the fucking God Survivor right here. Anyway, thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are on this. Um, yeah, I'm very curious to know your thoughts on it. Um... Yeah, and if you want to talk to me about it here on YouTube or go on the Discord uh, and have more findings on there, go for it. Um, yeah, if you enjoyed, please press that like button. It really helps. Uh, comment, whatever. Thanks for watching, and as always, have a great day.